watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Garoppolo to throw on second down. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. My well, man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Garoppolo on first down. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Play fake here on first down. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 18 yards the game for number 18. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Jackson on second down. Caught left side, Williams. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole Leopard! lot of confidence. Leopard! They'll try and run for it with McCoy, but he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Now it's Jackson trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off inside. And I do believe this is going to line up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. 
Now that's the kind of return that warms the heart of a special teams coach. He'll be pushing us next time, Brandon, to make sure his guys are introduced in the starting lineups. These guys have such an influence on every game. The unsung heroes, remember, they have their own meetings, their own practice time, heck, their own spot on the bench in order to be ready to play each and every week. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Jackson. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This give is to McCoy. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second down, Jackson flushed out right. Touchdown, Arizona. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the lead is up to 15 now. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Here's James. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he fires one incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. That'll bring up second down. Mm, close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline, it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. 13, 13. Garoppolo again here on second and 10. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The reception good for seven. It's third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe the tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. 
So on now is the clip. And how about this, a fake. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 48, and his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half, and you hate to ask the question, but you know, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. Play action with Jackson. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it third and one. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Now it's Jackson. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Here's James. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. First down, Garoppolo. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Over the metal, he finds Pattis complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. It was Jordan Evans making the play defensively. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Two minutes to go here in the first half. More from the desert after this. Second down, here's Garoppolo. 
Throw left side, caught by Goodwin. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 21, 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. A jump down to McKenna. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Being chased out left. This will be caught about the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle, for a Niner first down. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. They have touchdown, 49ers! Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Gold with the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. Gold now out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before? Or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here of this first half. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. On second down, here's Jackson. Hits his target, the tight end, Will Ty. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. down it's Jackson he sets to fire deep and nearly picked it off he had a chance to come down with that in the end zone but it'll wind up just being incomplete that one doesn't find its target but all in all he's been much sharper this week he was under 50 percent a week ago and now he's up over 70 percent but you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week to try and improve that passing percentage, and it's worked out quite well. Wide open receiver complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds.
From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Here's James. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. On first and 10, it's Jackson. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Detroit! Detroit! From the gun, Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gibson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. A give to McCoy. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. And they'll keep on the ground with McCoy. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. stop before he could even get started. Yeah. 
The Cardinals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Jackson. And that is incomplete. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. But these guys are gonna chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Garoppolo on third down. He's got Curse. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Garoppolo on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's good one. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it, no yardage. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Toss play to McKinnon. And yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It goes as a loss of six, and now third down. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 16. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. He let one slip away last week as well. So now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. But well, we were out of practice, and we watched him work. And what did his quarterback coach talk about all week? Being a two-hand monster. And we looked at each other. Two-hand Oh, I get it. Two-hand monster. Both hands on the football. 
taking care of it, putting it away so the ball doesn't get dropped. They'll try to get the ground game going with Ingram. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down, Ingram. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back at the 12. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Hey, hey, hey. Jackson will look to throw it. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Goskowski the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Goskowski now out to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> yeah. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Beathard to throw. 
Buying time to his left. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the false start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Let's go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down four and down, long. Four down. Check. Four down, four down. Ah. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now he'll escape to his left. Bearing it deep for Garcon. He's got a man complete. A big play there for the Niners. 50. Two yards. So forget about any talk of possible safeties. Here's first and 10 clear on the other side of the field. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Robert Kimdichie, the one to bring him down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. They'll throw here, Bathard. And the grab by Croft. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They're already right, slim now, hopes are going to ride on this one. Six. They'll go on fourth down. Gone, 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 gone. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check right. Gone, 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 gone. Gone, 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 gone. Ah! Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Malcolm Smith there for the stop. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Here we go now. 319! 319! Ingram. 
Ingram again. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He lost two there, and it's third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Cardinals on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Jackson from the shotgun. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And a big 32-yard play on third. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. This is Ingram on first and 10. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Two yards gets them back to where they started, but now third and 10. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Third down, Jackson forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now Goskowski will come on to try a field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So yet another field goal to end the drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful. Here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Ah! Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Dumping it off for Johnson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Seven yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And all oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams, they put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Detroit! And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Cardinals on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and six. The pitch goes to Yeldon. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And take it right on the 30. Missed. Missed. This will not go down. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. 
Ball pops out, incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Play action, Garoppolo. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They'll run it again with Yeldon. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. After the penalty, it's Yeldon. Oh, he shifts past him. Fancy footwork in midfield. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And that'll bring up a third down. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard on the run there. and That's going to bring us to a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And incomplete on the deep ball. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten.
Back to throw Bethard. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. A very solid gain of 27. Now they got to get to the line quickly. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth Detroit! of the matter is, Detroit! that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful. And now they have to deal with second and very long. Bathard. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. The Niners on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and a mile. Bathard to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the Cardinals. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Cards, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. and one. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.